Exercise 1, Snapshot Focus Effect. I have the Photoshop interface open. What we can do now is go and collect an image. File, Open. We will go to our folder where the images are and we'll click on the required image and we'll bring it in. The first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the size of my image. So I'll go to image, image size, and I'll have a look at the physical size of the image. And I can now reduce it, enlarge it, change it. If I want to make it sort of yeah, 15 by 10, I can actually do that here. But in my case, all I want to do is make sure that we're working at 300 dpi. So I uncheck the resample image change it to 300, recheck it, and now by clicking here, I have not allowed my image to grow in physical size, only in resolution. Let me say OK, now I've got a 300 dpi image. Now, what I want to explain is layers. Here is our layers docker over here, and if we ever lose it, we can find it in window and we can go down to layers, you can see it's checked this it's open or shortcut F7. Our background layer is locked. We can unlock it by double clicking on the padlock and just simply saying OK. Now it's unlocked. But the safe method is to copy it up. Control J on your keyboard copies up the layer. If we close the eye on the bottom layer, we just have this layer activated and that's what we're going to work on. Now I want to make a selection around the girl. So what we're going to do is we're going to fetch our marquee selection tool. If we right click on the little arrow at the bottom corner we'll see the different tools available to us, the eclipse or the rectangle. Right, now I'm going to make my selection around the girl and I want to focus more on her head and her arms here in the camera to see what she's doing. So I've made my selection. To rotate the selection I'm going to go to Select, Transform Selection, and you'll see little handlebars have now formed around my margin ends. And if I go to the corner, I can quite easily rotate. Choose my rotation angle, and I can still click inside and move it around. There we go. Once I'm happy, I press Enter, and I have my selection. Now I'm going to copy up only the selection. So to do that, I press Control. J. And you'll see a new layer is formed. If I close the eye below it, we only have our selection. Now I want to put a stroke around it. So I go to the little FX, which is the effects button, click on it, and there you'll see stroke. Click on stroke, and it defaults on black. I'm going to change that. I want white. So I select white and say OK. Now if we look at our stroke, it's on the outside. And you see how rounded it is. So if I rechange that to inside, it now squares off. So I want a nice square stroke, and that's broad enough. Now I can just say OK, but I also want a drop shadow. So I'm going to go up to drop shadow, check the box, and I'm going to highlight it so that the drop shadow panel comes up. Over here we have angle. We can change our angle and the drop shadow will move accordingly. Our blend mode we're going to use is normal and we'll stay there for now. And our distance, you can see what happens as we move our distance, our spread, and our size. So the size you can see how it softens it up. We don't want quite so much. We just want a nice little drop shadow. We can also click on the drop shadow and pull it, which is quite handy. So we've chosen something like that. We're happy with it. We say, OK. And now we have the little snapshot centerpiece sticking out. If we reactivate the layer below, we can see what we've done. But now it looks like we just put a little square in the middle of the drop shadow. So we're going to activate that layer by clicking on it, making it blue. And now we're going to lighten it a bit. And we're going to go to Image, Adjustments. 
I'm going to go to levels. You can see the shortcut key, control L. So in future, you can just press control L. We're going to levels. Now, we have two ways of changing our levels. We can just go down to output levels instead of playing the top. We'll use it more bit later. And you can see there by moving the black in, we're lightening the whole image. Or we can move the white down towards the black and thus darken the image. And as we do this darkening effect, you can see how we've highlighted the girl and what she's doing and taking out most of the surrounds. I'll just say OK there. So she's popped out of the snap and it's, it's given us a real um, uh, an area for our eye to focus on the image because now we're looking at the bright spot in the middle of the image and not worrying about the leaves and the trees in the background which is not our focal point. Thank you.